كرمته كم تصير اعطيني انا كمان شويه سريع توليو
Here's the road construction report, sir. You're using two groups too many. The rest of you can go. We've fallen behind. Let's try to catch up. We'll do our best, sir. I'm getting worried about that jeep carrying this week's payroll. We should have sent another one along with them. Well, this is the first time they've been late since we started working here. They probably just had a flat tire or something. Or they could have taken the other way around. It's happened before. Hope so. I'm going back to the hotel. If there's any news, get in touch with me right away. You can depend on it. Don't worry. Yeah, see you later. So long. was carrying the payroll. May Allah curse them. Murderers, cowards, pigs. Those bandits murdered every one of my men. Where'd this happen? In the desert, Effendi. The devil's spawn, bastards. The filthy beasts. They murdered my friends. Evil, treacherous fiends. And I know who these men are. The ones who wish to prevent the construction of the great road. The ones who want to stop progress in Africa. And where exactly did this happen? At the pass. At El Kowir, sir. It was a massacre. I swear to you. I saw it with my own eyes. And I ran here to tell you. And naturally, you were the only one who escaped. Of course, sir. Only I. It was a miracle. My soul was saved by Sharif Makar who protects all poor sinners, like me. Since when do you believe in miracles, El Marish? And why were you with the men in the jeep? Sir, you don't think that El Marish is a liar? And that he doesn't do miracles? Eh? Calm down. Of course, I believe that the spirit of the great Sharif Makar can perform miracles, but I don't see him doing one for you. Kind, sir. You were here. You were not where I was, and you saw nothing, nothing and no one. We tried to defend ourselves against those bandits. And unfortunately, there were too many. And every one of my friends were murdered. We're losing time here. Let's get moving. Abdullah is outside. He wants to see you. Mm -hmm. May Allah be with you, Abdullah. With you and your son. You are both welcome in my house, friends. Don't worry, Mother. I'll never marry him. No, because El Marish is your man. I'll pick the man I want when I want him. Mm -hmm. My son Ali will be the only heir of all the goods that Allah has seen fit to bless me with. You know our customs, don't you, St. John? It is time for me to pick a wife for him. And it is about that that I came here to speak to you. There has never been the slightest disagreement between us. And our friendship could be well cemented by a marriage between my son and your daughter. As far as I can see, there is nothing that stands in the way of such a match. Your daughter will be the mistress of all the goods of my household. What more could a girl ask? Joanna is still young. And after 
all, your son is one of the faithful of Allah and the noble. He could not possibly want an infidel like my daughter. I hope your daughter finds a happier fate than your own. What did Abdullah say to you? He wanted Joanna to marry Ali. Joanna, marry Ali? <coughs> My daughter will not be sold, Cyril. Exactly. Besides which, she is the daughter of an Englishman and must marry one. My daughter was created here, and here she was given her Berber blood. A pale skin is the only thing she was given by the British. She got everything from the British. Everything, you understand? Her skin. Yes. Her education. Everything. Just make sure you watch her when she goes outside. Ali can be violent. You can never tell. He might just want to harm her. Who knows? I don't care one way or the other. I'm neither Bourbon or English. I just want to get away from this place. What do you want? Go and find El Marish. Tell him everything. He'll know what to do. <laughs> what do you think I should say to him, Nellish? My gin is finished? No. You have to ask him for help to pick up my father's treasure. You know that. Go to him, Cyril. Tell him you're the only one who knows where Sharif Makar's treasure is hidden. You go to the devil. Indeed, the treasure. It never existed. It did and does. And you know where it is, only I can't make you say. Bah! You've got to act now. The spirit of Sharif Makar would protect us instead of pursuing us. Decide, Cyril. Once the road is built, there'll be nothing for us to live on. And the treasure is mine by rights. I am Sharif Makar's daughter. Don't you look that way. You know it's mine. Go to the devil, you, Makar, and all the Berbers on earth. You married me for the money you used to get, didn't you? And you expected a big part of the treasure that was to be ours after our marriage. Treasure? You're insane. If there is one, it's not in golden diamonds, believe me. Be careful, Cyril. I'm not being fooled for a minute. You've been my ruin. Only you're not going to ruin your daughter as well. You think you're some kind of a superior being, but you're only an old man who's drunk and sick. that story you told in the village? Just a story, like all the rest. I had to invent something to throw the police off the trail, didn't I? And where's the money? All you think about is getting enough money to get over to England, eh? First of all, you must respect the terms of our agreement. No, first the money. Oh. 
Melkor, I disgust you. <laughs> but you'll make love with me for money. what you were looking for, St. John? Yes, that. Without it, I'm a dead man. We can start the bottle going together. Then I'm going to talk some business. address. I'm not likely to be the man you're looking for, friend. Any idea what that is? Who are you? My name is Bill. How did you know? My car. It doesn't matter. That's the map that shows where the weapons are hidden. The treasure you're all looking for. Isn't that enough? It's too late. You're mistaken, St. John. I'm buying those weapons for a new African state. So I shall pay you, and well. Enough to make you rich for the rest of your life. It's too risky. Things change. And I'm old. No. Too risky. There is no risk for you at all. I just need your truck and driver to make it look good. You can go back to Britain with Joanna and get rid of Nellish forever. Mm. You seem to know it all. But who are you? You shouldn't go in, Joanna. Why not? Your father's in there with a stranger. No, no, it's no use. Just think it over for a little while, John. 
You could become rich. If you don't accept this, it'll be your last chance. What about it? All right, I'll do it. Who is it? You will stay out of this. Joanna, what are you doing? See you tomorrow, St. John. Tomorrow. Good evening, Joanna. Well, Maurice isn't the right man for you. He doesn't have a dollar. Good night. Who is he? A friend of mine. Uh, a very important friend. come in. And what did your mother want? What difference does it make? You were spying on me, huh? Oh, of course not. <laughs> it's all right. The wind has changed now. I'm going to be rich at last, so we'll see. Who's the useless one round here? I want... I want you to be able to forgive me for the poor years I made you go through. And now I have the wherewithal. I'll show you how marvelous London is. Mm. Mm. London. I wonder how it's changed. It's been such a long time. Joanna's too much woman for you, eh, El Marish? I thought so. Keep quiet, old woman. I come to talk business with you, you idiot. And I find you crawling all over that little slut. Don't try it again, Marish. Get out. El Marish and I have business to talk about. It would be better if you minded your own business. Can't a girl come visiting a friend anymore? Will you please get her out of here? Be quiet, whore. Go find another shot. You disgusting old sow! Oh, stop it! Stop! El Marish's tent is not a marketplace. Get out. My daughter is worth a million like her. <laughs> Your daughter is no better and no worse than she is. She wants drugs. Joanna wants money. El Marish, for a girl like Joanna, there could never be enough money. But now there'll be enough for everybody. A stranger came looking for my husband. He found out what my father's treasure was. Hidden weapons worth a million pounds. That man had a map showing where it's hidden. You haven't got a minute to lose. You'll find him at the hotel. Go, now!
leave me, please. Not for very long, anyway. If El Maurice knew that I loved you, he'd find you and kill you. <laughs> he'd kill me if he could, all right. But for different reasons. <laughs> I love you, too, my little Berber girl. And I think I can trust you. I hope I'm not wrong. Do you see this money? It's part of the construction worker's payroll. Uh, you're a thief like he is. No, I'm not like him at all. Please, Bill, don't leave. I've got to get to those weapons by dawn. This is very important to me, and not because of what those guns are worth in money. I've been after those weapons for years now. That's all that's been in my mind. I must mean nothing to you then, if that's all you're ever thinking of. I've really chosen my mate, huh? You don't care a damn for me. You know if you did, you'd take me with you. I'd be out of my skull. This is not the sort of operation you can mix women up in. Are you English? I was born in Africa. What's the matter? Aren't you so adventurous anymore? Let me go with you. With me? I thought you wanted to go to England. At times I talk like some stupid white woman. But you are a white woman. No, I'm not white. I'm a Berber. You're a Berber, and yet you go to bed with that pig and Marish. But I love you. Is that so? <laughs> I love you too, honestly I do. But it doesn't make any difference. I still can't take you with me, Joanna, but I want you to understand why. I got those arms from the French for Sharif Makar. He wanted them to be used for the independence of his country, but someone got hold of them before he could get there. And whoever it was murdered him. You really knew Sharif Makar? Where and how? Well, if we happen to see each other again, I'll tell you. Anyway, for now, so long, my little Berber. If I won't need this where I'm going, you hold on to it for a while, will you?
throw the rifle down. I said throw it down. Don't make me wait any longer, Amarish. Listen to me now. It's important. Let me tell you, you'll never carry this off without my help. I've been living in these mountains all my life. <laughs> and you've still never found Sharif Makar's little hoard. True. Ah, but I could show you some paths. Nobody, not even the Desert Patrol, know about them. And so? Someone like that could help you. Help me what? Find the buried treasure. You and I could be partners, you know. El Marish is a humble man. He would be happy with very little. Then be happy with this. <laughs> And so, Mr. St. John, you have no idea who it was that attacked this bill. Then I will tell you. El Marish! If you know, why don't you arrest him? I'll arrest him when I'm good and ready. So? What do you want from me? I want to know why El Marish was so anxious to turn this bill person into a soup strainer. Huh. I haven't the foggiest. Don't try to be clever, St. John. There is one thing you should know. That I could have you arrested right now, throw you in jail and let you out there. You'd have to have a good reason. And I don't think you have one. We'll see about that, Mr. St. John. May I go now? Yes. But there's one other thing. You must remain available to me at every moment. And you are forbidden to leave the city. Well? 
Fennel will drive the truck. Will he be in any danger? Yes, the danger of getting rich. Well, if you say so. I'll wait for you here. I'll be back for you. Don't worry. Be careful, please. I promise. St. John. Doing some shopping, I see. Is there something illegal in that? I want to enlarge the store. And this crane will help me save money. I see the new road is beginning to bring improvements. Mr. St. John is becoming rich. That's why you called in your friend Bill. You cultivate strange friendships, you know. Better be careful. We'll have an agent watching you. Come and visit me in my office tomorrow afternoon. I need some information. Tomorrow, I'll be rich and far away. and he loves me. Him? No. Do you want to wind up like me? I forbid you to dishonor our home and your mother's own race. You don't. Stop it. I want you to come with me right away. We'll ambush them to the east. The police are tracking down El Marish now. We'll have to get him away. He won't go far. And maybe then at last we'll use my father's treasure. I don't want to help El Marish and I don't want the treasure lost. Bill's delivering it today to men who need it. Don't you think that's what your father meant? I am the only one who knows what he meant. The only person, and don't you forget it.
to warn El Marish. There's nothing to worry about. El Marish will have too much to do. He won't have time to look after weapons. It's all been done. Bill is far away by now. in the clear, Van Eyck. Hope to hell. With all this dynamite on board, it's a bad time to be shut out, eh? we are doing it. With what I'll be paid, Fatman and me will be married finally. Never mind about the money. You know it doesn't matter. Sharif Makar never intended to get rich on this. Here.
old fool. You didn't tell me there were explosives. Completely destroyed. Maybe Makar wanted this, since this is what happened. is written in Marish. who the spirit of Sharif Makar was. Nobody has ever been able to fool El Marish. Nobody! You were being clever, but you're still the same worthless old man, Cyril. Now no one will ever get his hands on the treasure. Still say it's a stupid thing to do, El Marish, coming here this afternoon. I still say it was that white man I shot yesterday who got the money from the jeep. And that money must still be in a hotel. And I mean to get it. 
I'm not sure I believe that. And it's impossible that my daughter wasn't in on it. Mm, your daughter? That bitch would make room to a camel for half a glass of wine, you fool. here, but keep your eyes open. Yeah. Mm. We're looking for your friend Bill, who wants to know where he is. I think you better tell us, St. John, for your own good. Speak up, St. John, or we will make you sorry you were ever born. Well? Why? What did he do? Last night, he tried to get across the border with a shipment of arms, but he didn't make it. He had a lot of explosives on board. The truck was attacked and blown up. You'd better confess now. It'll save you a lot of trouble. What? What do you say? It's not possible. Bill wouldn't do anything like that. Stop trying to be funny. The Secret Service knows all about your friend, Bill. His real name is Hans Fischer, and he's a professional arms smuggler. Come on, St. John, tell us. We're certain you know. What are you waiting for? Now is the time you can make up for your lack of loyalty and respect toward the country that's been so hospitable towards you for so many years. A lack of loyalty? Lack of respect? What have you ever done that would warrant my loyalty? I... I always had to do everything all alone. Whenever I asked anything of you, you always answered with hatred and threats. Calm down, St. John. We've heard that song and dance before. Then how do you have the bloody nerve to come here and talk to me about loyalty and respect, damn it? How was I supposed to know that that man was a smuggler? Ah, you know nothing about it. In that case, how did Fisher get those weapons? Would you like to hear what I think about it? So, he was looking for Macar's hoard and found it. That is most probably what transpired. Of course, somewhere he must have gotten, let's say, some kind of help. We thought of you at once, because you married the daughter of Makar. So, what's it mean? It means that you, St. John, are part of this mess. The responsibility is yours, too. And you must take the consequences. What consequences? What responsibility? Your responsibility, and you know it. The truck these men had along happened to be yours, and was driven by one of your employees. Now, isn't that a very strange thing? Obviously, it was stolen. Do I look such a fool as to use my own truck? Where's Bill? Or rather, Hans Fischer? If I tell you, what are you going to do to me? The police force will promise every effort to get you off lightly, Mr. St. John. And Bill? What will you do to him? He will be shot. Too much. Yes. Yes, of course. But not so much that I don't recall where Bill is hiding. Our patience is running out. Now, where is he? If only I had another bottle. I need it now. Marhaba, ya helwa. 
جميلة هي البنت I'm sorry, miss. No one is allowed to leave the area. Oh, I, I just wanted to put this bag under the truck for later. What's in it? Nothing. Just clothes. All right, miss. Go ahead. Thank you. Keep your hands off. I'm taking you to see him. Don't worry. There's no rush in any case. I warn you, this time you'd better be telling us the truth, St. John. I swear it, Major, my word of honor. He'll never get away from you now. Don't worry, he's too well guarded. Dangerous man. You wanted him dead, didn't you? Well, there he is. Are you happy now? I saved you the trouble of shooting him. <laughs> Look after the cops. Marish has gone out to the pass. He's waiting there for us. We'd better go in quickly. Now we're finally returning to the desert, to our tents, the place meant for us where we should have stayed. no more. Just pray for Bill's soul. Leave his body in peace. Tell me why you all keep saying this is Bill when it's Vanel, my poor darling Vanel. Look, this has to be Bill. You think I don't know my Vanel, the man who was going to marry me?
Avenged your father without knowing it. Almerich had killed him. The will of Sharif Makar has been done in full. My daughter, when a man passes, the will of the man remains. It is written, my blessings. <laughs> <laughs> 